dam after dam, reservoirs built in the 19th century. When it's high time, I'm exploring Hong Kong's waterworks. Hong Kong, Pearl of the Orient, is famous for its beautiful harbor, skyscrapers, and shopping malls. In this series, we're taking you behind the glaze to discover some of its hidden histories. Good day, welcome back to Orchid and Left. This is a new episode of my Hong Kong Secret History Tour, and I have my colleague, a new presenter in the show, Chloe. Hi everyone, nice to meet you, and I'm very happy to be here today. Finally, I have somebody younger, fitter, slimmer in the show. Yeah! Oh, come on, Jack! <laughs> and she has something about Hong Kong Island to tell me. Yes. You know, Jack, in Hong Kong Island, there are so many places that deserve exploring. So many places, not only very beautiful, but also have long history. And today... Like history. Yes, just look at the places behind us. I'm going to show you Titan Reservoirs, which have so many historic dams. Dams, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> we follow the Titan Waterwork Heritage Trail, which covers 21 water supply structures with more than 100 years of history. And they have all been declared as historic monuments. More details in the links below. Titan stands for Big Deep Pool in Chinese. The Titan Reservoirs, located in the southern district of Hong Kong Island, have supplied water for residents on the island since 1888. We started our journey at the Titan Upper Reservoir, where we can first spot a masonry bridge and a masonry aqueduct built between 1883 and 1888. The piers and the columns of the masonry bridge are strengthened with molded capitals to provide extra support. Just on the other side of the hill, we found the Titan Upper Reservoir, made from granite and concrete, containing water within its towering walls. It's 100 feet high and 400 feet wide. The largest dam structure ever built in Hong Kong back in those days. One third of the way to the top, there is a beautifully made valve house for the dam. I was really engrossed in all the construction, but Chloe told me that there was more to see. Walking across the Titan Baywash Reservoir and then the Titan Intermediate Reservoir, the view was even better. These structures are relatively younger, built in the early 20th century. Okay, Jack, now here uh, it is actually during our halfway, and we are here right now. What we're standing here is the uh, Titan Intermediate Reservoir Dam and it was built in 1907, quite a long time ago. Yeah, over 100 years ago. Mm. It's still quite strong, I would say. Yeah, <laughs> and how do you think about the journey until now, at the moment? Uh, well, I've been to this area many times, um, but I didn't know they have full reservoirs with so many dams and also the history is quite intriguing. Um, so it's a bit hot, but the view is really amazing. Amazing weather as well. Yeah. But let's show this view to our yeah. audience as well, right? Yeah. Let's take a look. The Titan Intermediate Reservoir has concrete side walls and a tubular steel guard rails. It is said that the dams along the Titan system all follow a generic form, but here we found that it looked slightly indented. Chloe had the answer. Hey Jack, can you see that there are some gaps on the top of the dam? Yeah. Do you know why? No clue. Actually, after 70 years of the original construction, they worried about the safety issues, so they lowered the dam for 3 meters. Ha! Huh. Now I know. Continuing along, we could see the Titan II Reservoir, which is the lower part of the Titan system, along the partially shaded trail. We crossed several beautiful masonry bridges with amazing views inside. Sometimes, you tend to forget that you are actually walking on a century-old bridge. Moving further south, 
we reached Titan Bay, where we were greeted by colorful boats and great sea views. The Edwardian style red brick building, Titan to raw water pumping station, is still in use, and the Chinese pitched roofs add extra charm. We finally reached our last stop after walking a few hundred meters along the coast. We are here at Titan to Dan, which is right behind us. It's huge, isn't it? <laughs> Very impressive. And previously, we wanted to make it to a commemorative stone, which was built a hundred years ago to celebrate the completion of the whole Titan Reservoir scheme. Yeah. But anyway, I want to know how was your day today, Jack? Well, well, first of all, she told me it's five kilometers walk. We did 12 so far, <laughs> but I really enjoyed it. Uh, basically, I'm a big fan of architecture, and this dam, uh, reservoir, bridges, it's all built 100 years ago, and this is a way to show you how people built it in that time. All the architecture, construction, love it. Thank you for taking me here. You're welcome. And thank you for watching this show. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and we will see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.